Bluey's are forever. Hello, good morning. I'm Melissa, and today we are unboxing and opening several of the Thread Up DIY jewelry boxes. I was able to get my hands on a bunch of these this past February. It is currently the end of July. They did come up last week. I missed them, but I was able to get some in June. They limited the boxes to two, so I was able to get two in June. And so I'm going to be opening one from one or two from February and then one from June just to see how different they are. They do come in boxes because of our storage issues here in Florida. My husband opens all of the boxes and then puts them in bins. So I haven't seen anything inside of them, but that's why they're not in boxes. I have it pointed slightly down, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see a little bit better. This one is, looks brand new, could be used slightly and put back in the box. It is Liz Claiborne, three piece set, silver tone, like a wave on it almost, kind of a cutout design. This looks nice. Actually, it does look brand new because there's stickers holding it in and you would need to probably slice through those. I'm going to say I could probably get about, I don't know, I go low, $8 to $10. Ooh, a stretchy bracelet, beautiful rhinestones. However, the stretch is stretched too much. It's really a shame because they're very pretty. They sparkle in the, the sunlight or the lack of sunlight and my artificial light. <laughs> I will save this for my junk box. Somebody might be able to reuse it. Maybe even a hair barrette, I would think. Oh my goodness, I've gotten so many of these, these little wooden kind of touristy bracelets. We'll put that in the junk box as well. I'm being a little bit pickier because I've been getting so many nice pieces. This looks like a faux Brighton like that distressed silver tone. I'll try this. It's brown and multi-corded, like a brown faux leather or leather with some silver tone scroll beads in the middle and it is adjustable. I would say it fit most wrists. So that goes over here. Another stretch. It's a bronzy one. I'm going to pass it along in the junk box. Another stretch, this one looks like it has little bow ties. Leah Sophia, I used to do better with these and I don't know why. Guessing maybe the jewelry market from the thread up boxes is a little bit um, overwhelmed at this point. Not a lot of people are wearing jewelry while in quarantine. Yep, another stretch, but it is sad, sad. Another Leah Sophia, somebody could easily put this on, probably even tie it off, honestly, and still wear it, or put it on some stretch. It's got daisies on it. So we will put that in the junk box. Oh, this is all about the stretch bracelets, and this one is also too stretched out. It won't recover. No markings, faux pearls, kind of a bronzy thing happening. That one's going in the junk box. Might as well. I set this aside. This is also Leah Sophia. I'm going to call that gold tone. It's a distressed, kind of hammered gold tone. A thicker link. Doesn't seem like the stretch will snap. And it recovers nicely. So we'll put that in. It does seem to be for bigger wrists. I have a six and a quarter wrist and you can kind of see it can fit easily two fingers in there so it would probably fit up to you know what though it does have some marks on it it looks like there's a bronze underneath the gold tone and the finish is wearing off in places I'm gonna put that in the junk box we'll throw it in there this is a hair tie that says hope relay so maybe it was handed out at a race of some kind. It's purple, I like it. I use a lot of hair ties. I usually use the kind of spiral telephone cord ones. I don't know. I'll probably put it in the junk box. 
another bracelet. This one has hematite. Hermatite, hematite, I think it's hematite. It seems to at least. It's that very shiny kind of gunmetal color and it's, <laughs> you can see, um, magnetic to a point. Pretty. Pave pink little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven little bees, and then some of those gray. I like the pull cord. It's a little bit easier for most people to get on than a clasp. Plus it gives it a little bit more of a sporty look. Yeah, I'll try that. Four or five dollars maybe. It all adds up. Plus listing jewelry is so fast and easy. I love it. This is PD. So I'm gonna guess Premier Designs. I do okay with Premier Designs. This kind of looks like a fancier cocktail piece maybe. Silver tone with a lot of sparkle. Has an iridescent, almost hollow rhinestone. Has a clasp. Let's see if I can do this with my numb fingers. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I'm gonna say it should fit up into a seven inch wrist. So again, another five, maybe a little bit more. A really thin red rhinestone bracelet that's going in the junk. A lot of bangles. I don't do super well with bangles. I find a lot of people have different size fists and bangles or something that's not necessarily universal, though that went on really easily. I have a very large fist, I would say. Huh. This would probably fit up to at least an eight inch wrist. Interesting. If I get a lot of bangles, I'll pull these back out. They're silver tone. There's nothing like wow about them, but a good piece to have in somebody's jewelry wardrobe, I would say. Oh, I think I found a matching pair of, no, I did not. Now I did. These are not marked. Kendra Scott, they are marked. I thought I knew you, Kendra. They have an opal kind of vibe to the moonshine, moonstone, moonstone, I think it is. I'm really unsure about this lighting today. Let's see if that works better for the jewelry. One, two, three, four, five, six, six sided with a point at the bottom. Maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. They are slightly transparent. Definitely translucent, beautiful. Truly gives off some pinks and greens and yellows. Very pretty. These should do well. I'll look them up. Here's another pair of earrings. These are also Kendra Scott. They look, obviously they were made this way to be almost vintage inspired. They're arrowhead look with some rhinestones that are set in a way that would remind me of like 1950s cigar rings. Really prettily done. That'll probably pay for the whole box right there. Another stretch bracelet. This one stretch is not recovering either. You can see there's about an inch of just elastic there. Somebody else can use those. Ooh, this also looks like Kendra. Are you a Kendra Scott? I think this is also Kendra Scott. This is beautiful. It has the little it is Kendra Scott. Okay, it's marked. Um, longer gold tone, like a lighter gold tone though. It looks like somebody put, I would say like um, a shell that throws off kind of greens and browns, crushed up shell into a resin. And it does give that iridescent shine to it. It's very pretty. Double-sided, though one of the sides is flat, so it's probably meant to be worn on this side. Sorry, I keep pulling this down. The shirt fits a little, a little oddly. But I bought it at the bins, <laughs> and it's Armani, so I'm like, okay, I'll keep it. I'm going to pass on this. It's a daisy kind of floral cutout, but it has a lot of rub wear, and it's silver tone, but where it's rubbed down, it gives like a distressed bronzy look, which is kind of a cool look. 
but it's very lightweight just a costume piece pass this is black leather it's got some flaking so it's a faux leather a bangle it is marked PD so again that could be premier designs it could not but because of the flaking of the leather I'm gonna say pass on that one now this is the bag that just came yes by just came I mean like a month ago <laughs> I set it aside in a different spot just plain white and bronze pass this one's rather pretty the spacer beads seem to be a distressed silver tone and bronze tone but equally rubbed down faux pearls kind of a cowgirl look like a shabby chic can't say that on ebay but i th i think i can say it here i'm gonna pass on this one unless i get a lot of this kind of thing um again i wouldn't pair them necessarily together but let's say i kind of had a mix and match you know something like that where i'm selling a bunch of them I wouldn't sell that exact combination. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. Different metals. Another little stretchy bracelet, black beads. Pass. This is also a stretch bangle with pink and silver, but it's not recovering. I'm guessing Thread Up like pulls a few really good pieces and then just tosses in. It needs to be five pounds. This I've had something very similar, if not identical. This has got like some food on it or something. Um, I don't think it was marked. Oh, it is. It's a Leah Sophia. Okay, we'll try. It's got very much an autumnal vibe to it with the reds and the golds and kind of that orangey yellow color. It's got the silver tone circles and then these faux beads that are kind of placed. Caddy wampus. So we'll try that one. Oh, this is pretty. I might send this to my niece if the stretch. I don't think the stretch is going to come back. Oh, it's a slow comeback. It does almost come back. It's so pretty. The beads are so pretty. It has like bubbles in the beads and they're greens and yellows and bright blues. I think that lighting was, was better before. Let's try that. My ring light wasn't working this morning, so I decided to take the fuse out of it. I'm gonna put this in the junk thing. Um, thinking that might help it, and it totally didn't. <laughs> then I couldn't get it back in. I like this. Stretchy, but the stretch recovers, thankfully. One of them at least does. I like the black and white polka dot beads. They remind me of kind of the style of Pandora. I'm selling a Pandora bracelet right now. It's doing rather well. I had found it in one of the thread up. So there's black and white polka dots. There's kind of a cube, a glass cube or plastic, hard plastic, some blacks and a whole bunch of silver tone spacer beads. I don't see that anything is marked, but it's a very fun look. Will I get more than a couple dollars for it? I don't think so. And one of the glass beads has a little bit of a nick out of it. So that means you go with those. This is a Tory, Tory birch, um, but it's broken. So we will see if we can find the other half of that. Another stretch bracelet. This one is a gold tone and it's made up of like six different links, five different links, but it's, it's not recovering. Another stretch bracelet. This one's not bad in the way it recovers. Yeah, it's it's in good shape, I would say. And because the way it stretches, it does look like a bangle, truly. Nobody would ever know it would be a stretch. It means it's easier to get on, which I appreciate. I might try this one. It has almost like um a, a tiger's eye brown bead or like a jasper bead in the middle i'm sure it's fake and then the silver tone has some scroll work in it so we'll try that oh pretty Let's see 
Love the look of this. A lot of browns and oranges and turquoise. You know, I'm a turquoise fan. Just the color, not so much the stone. So the stone's fine too. Again, it just, it's not recovering. There's a lot of um, the stretch showing through. So we're gonna pass that on and somebody else will be able to use those. Another bronze stretch bracelet. A lot of stretch bracelets. This one almost looks handmade. It's like a friendship bracelet with beads. It's kind of an corally red orange and the brown cord and then it has the two places. I'm going to pass this along. I don't think I can get more. I don't even know if I'd be able to get $3 out of that. Maybe. Not worth it. This is gonna pop. I can feel the stretches just going to. Pshew. Ah, here's another piece of this bracelet. I'm trying to think how that would even go on. There's gotta be a third piece. Okay, so this goes there. Okay, <laughs> we're missing just the middle. <laughs> I've had these for sure before and they have never sold so I'm gonna just a very thin bracelet okay we have a J crew see if all of the stones are there all of the stones are there this one has a little bit of a nicked up look I might be able to fix that with a little bit of paint it's because the beads are so shiny the stones are so shiny they're like a really dark purple I would say and those middle ones are so shiny that the nicks are very apparent. I still might be able to get I don't know six to eight dollars if I can't fill those in. They're not bad. If I can fix it maybe a little bit more but I'm gonna at least try it since it's day crew and more. Another very sad stretch bracelet that has no more stretch <laughs> just stretched out bracelet ah this looks like the one that i saved yes it has a very similar style to it this one reminds me of a fish scale almost the pattern on the metal so we'll save those two together another stretch it's just not very exciting it is recovering but mm, We'll pass on that one. Here's another of uh, the, um, wow, this is getting to be a lot down here. We're passing on a lot of these. Um, this one could have went with the polka dot one because the square beads are similar. But again, this one just doesn't seem like the stretch is all there. And it's very dirty. The stretch is very dirty underneath. But again, it's, it's not recovering another stretch this is the similar one to one i said wasn't very exciting now we have two not very exciting which makes it a little bit more exciting oh pretty i wonder if there's supposed to be something that goes in there i like it even without Let's see about the stretch yeah the stretch recovers nicely it's got a good amount of stretch still it has um, like a mother of pearl or a shell like little chips in pink and then the front of it has an open circle i wonder if something went in there you could probably pop a photo in there yeah or any kind of card stock like a heavy or something because there's a ridge on the top and bottom is this marked it's either marked or just dented Nope, I think it just kind of has that like hammered look to it. I'm going to pull us a little closer. I'm sure it's just because I'm not wearing my glasses and I can't really tell when if the light's very good or blah, 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 blah. You get it. Okay, where's my water? Today is Saturday. Our friends just left. Oh, another one of these. Um, for the long drive back to Pennsylvania, they stayed um, on a on the island in a condo on an island, our island. They stayed at a condo 
on our island, <laughs> not our island, <laughs> Anna Maria Island for a week. And we got together with them twice which was very nice just a couple hours each time but it's always good to see them and i really do expect them to move here one day okay Ooh, silver tone this is a lot of stretched out pieces i'm sure you can see that this is just like oh uh, somebody would need to remake them really pretty and a lot of beads hope love scroll hope and love is all I see um, but junk pile for now this one's a very Christmassy one <laughs> the stretch is dangerous I'm not gonna stretch it anymore because I will have beads all over my floor Christmas trees red and green very festive in the junk pile this one feels nice I think it's marked Got a hair tangled in it. I vacuum everything always. Okay. Italy. So I'm guessing this is sterling. Let's see. Yep, there's a little marking on the clasp. So this is sterling. It's a it's a fairly weighty sterling, I would say. I mean not like a hundred grams or anything, but it's pretty. And because it's sterling, I should be able to get maybe fifteen to twenty dollars out of it. I'll shine it up. Yeah, nice. That's a good a good find compared to those stretch bracelets. Here's another bracelet. It has a rock in the middle that somebody drilled out. It's truly like I found this on the side of the road rock. There is a little hook. It does look handmade which makes it rather sweet looking. This kind of thing could be like Oh, my husband or I drilled out a rock that my not daughter found on the side of the street and made her a bracelet. Or it could be like $300 because it looks like a rock your daughter found on the side of the street. It's one of those. It does look very tiny. I'm going to pass. This is a black cord with a ladybug. Ladybugs do have a pretty good following, but this one has a lot of wear. The rhinestones are very chipped. And there's no marking on the bug so we will put her in the junk pile oh pretty darn the stretch again the stretch is not recovering it's another kind of really pretty floral rhinestone thing though so ornate with so many different pretty colors you are going in the junk just like that first one so pretty Okay, we we're going with that one next. This looks nice. Hopefully all of the beads are there. Let's see, are you J. Crew? Who are you? You are J. Crew. J. Crew. Says it twice on that one. Okay, so let's check. You are good, you are good, you are good, you are good. We've got a nice one. So the gold tone is all very shiny. It looks brand new. All of the colors are there. It's hanging as it should be. Um, I think I might be able to get, I would say like 19 to $25 out of that. So we will carefully set that to the side. So many people have told me these are not chokers. So they are wrap bangles. And also we have beads coming apart. They're just randomly coming off. So. This one is definitely going in the junk drawer, the junk box. It would have went around four times though. Love the look. Do not like the fact that it's coming apart. Putting the necklaces, um, the earrings along the side. Let's see. Very purpley, pretty necklace. Silver tone, doesn't look like it has any rub wear yet. I don't see any, oh, here's a clasp, okay. So it's unmarked, so it truly is just a fashion piece. I like it, 
the blue, kind of the blue purple beads catch the light really prettily. And then it has kind of that um, amethyst, tanzanite kind of look to the lighter color. So because it has a clasp, you probably wrap it around at least twice. Am I going the right way? Yeah, twice. Yeah, I'll try that. Again, even if I get six, six-ish dollars for it, it should do rather well. Oh, pretty. This is another G Crew. Let's see if all the stones are there. All the stones are there. It's very orange and red with like a darker red. <laughs> Pink, orange, red, and then like a really dark stone in the middle. I should be able to get maybe 14 to 18 dollars for that another pretty one are you j crew as well i believe it's j crew it doesn't have the little placard but j crew always has this kind of life raft type of clasp to it so after doing some research, I'll feel confident if it's J. Crew or not. It looks like they made it. I don't know why this would be. So all of the rhinestones are there. The top pieces are missing. I'm going to say missing in quotes rhinestones. Like this whole thing doesn't have any rhinestones on the top. This doesn't have any rhinestones on the top. I don't know what's up with that. I would think since the rhinestones go all the way around all of them, the ones on top need a few rhinestones. <laughs> so this might not be J. Crew. It might just be another manufacturer. Also, it's not feeling as great as a J. Crew piece. So I'll still sell it. It's beautiful. The color is a very um, like a highly polished glitter fuchsia pink berry, berry pink maybe, something like that. Oh, pretty. Let's see, all the rhinestones are there. This has some chain mail, some rhinestones that drop off from the chain mail, and some rhinestones. The rhinestones all look to be there. I don't see any markings. This would be beautiful for like um, a wedding or like an ice princess costume. Very fancy cocktail party. Really well done, really pretty. Oh, I just realized we were missing one of the teardrops. Well, that's a shame. You are now going to have a place in my womp womp junk box. Let's see, we have a few wrapped up. Let's do this one. This one's got a little bit of a tangle and fixed it. It's a silver tone that has some rub wear and is showing a brass tone. So both of them, just a straight arrow. I think I'm gonna pass on this one, even though it's in good condition. It's a lower end piece. I like it. I just don't think it makes sense time-wise for me to photograph it. Okay, next is unbranded, unmarked, a little fuzz. Let's see if all of the stones are there. Stones are there. Let's see about the rhinestones. Rhinestones appear to be there. So this is very pastel. I'd say like a yellow and a very light green. be able to get eight dollars for it. Let's see what this last piece I pulled out is. It's also a necklace, unmarked. Really pretty colors. Shades of purple. Does it match the other shades of purple? What did I do with that other shades of purple? Is that it? No. Here it is. 
No, different shades of purple. This one's more of like a grape juice purple and a tanzanite purple and a silver tone. Yeah, pretty. I keep going down there thinking that's where I'm, I'm headed. I'm not. I have sold so many of these and not sold so many of these. This one, the um, the metal is flaking and peeling off, which is a shame. It is marked. What are you marked? Oh, really? Okay, so this is, I'm looking around for my phone. This is a fairly well-known designer. Okay, we do not have that. Let's see. At least I know her. M A M R I T A. Yes, there we are. Okay, let's see how well they're doing. I feel like this was, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, she was more famous. So a lot of her pieces selling for about four, eight, nine, twelve, eight, four. I sold um, this exact set of it was a bunch of bangles in different colors, and I, I think I got twenty five. This person got fourteen. Mine were new. Seven, seventeen, twenty six. A lot of these aren't um, bringing great numbers. They have a high retail value. But that's just, again, retail. So I'm going to let this one go just because the paint is really coming off of the metal. Oh, love this. Not stretchy enough. Looks like somebody tried to tie it off and it's still, still um, coming undone. Very hollow silver tone bead. Oh, pretty. Again, the stretch is just, you can see that, see that hanging there. Somebody will have to make this into something else. We have a charm bracelet in a brass color with a freshwater pearl. It's nice because it could almost be adjusted to anything up till about, I'm gonna say, a seven and a half or eight inch wrist. I'll save that just in case we come across any charms. Pretty. A fake engagement ring. Are you marked at all? I would say no. No. It's just the look of it. Oh, but it's missing two diamonds. That's a shame. Because it has like that raised sensor stone with the halo effect around it. That one is going down there. I don't recognize this at all. It's a stretch bracelet. The stretch seems to be in decent shape. You can see it in between um, the buckles. It's, it's a clear bead with white dye kind of poured into each one, but then it's not mixed up, so it gives it a very kind of cloud-like or cotton ball look to it. I like it a lot. It's also very loose. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I would struggle to get 4 or $5 for it, honestly. We have something new with tags. One size. Banana Republic. It was originally... $12.99 and on sale for $12.99. Green rhinestones stretch bracelet with recovery, thankfully. Everything looks perfect. So we will sell that. It's probably showing off a little bit more of a blue green. It is a true blue green. <laughs> it's definitely more green than blue. <laughs> and rhinestone spacer beads in between. Ooh, love this. Anybody make you? It is fully reversible, which is nice. It's a brass, like a distressed hammered brass. Oh, it is coming back. Hmm. 
yeah, shockingly, it's coming back with rhinestones. It almost gives me like a steampunk look, a steam, stuff that's called steampunk. I like it. I'm going to try it. Even if it brings a few dollars, it'll make me happy. Love these beads. Somebody tried to do something with this. This looks like a homemade. It's a little loose. It's not as tight as it should be, but the beads are beautiful. Put those down there. And Alex and Ani, this is their M initial bead, initial charm. So we will sell that. Actually, I get about $3.99, $4.99 for those. Another Liz Claiborne, brand new, $12. It's a stud in a silver tone. This one retailed for $29 at Nordstrom. It just says Nordstrom. Nickel free, made in China. I'm highly doubting they are anything past CZ, of course, because Nordstrom would have priced them a lot higher if they were diamonds, but they are gold tone. Let's see if they're actually marked on them. I don't think so. Gold tone, they look a little dirty, so I'll have to clean them up. Gold tone with a little, little uh, CZ in them. Somebody might want those. Then we have Anne Klein. Oh, pretty Anne Klein. You remind me of Kendra Scott. Oh, rose gold too. Very nice. $24 they retailed for. They're darker with some um, iridescence to them. But then on the back, they're nicely made. It's like a solid rose gold. They're, they're a bit hefty. They have a nice weight to them, I'd say. Then we have just one, one earring. <laughs> we'll set her off to the side. Two more Alex and Ani. One says best, and one says it is what it is. <laughs> I expected it to say friend, but it is what it is. Love that. Alex and Ani, 2013. And the best part of the best friends, is this dated? Sometimes they are dated, usually they're dated. I don't see a date on that one. That's funny, 2014, there we are. Hopefully we'll find the friend. This looks pretty. This looks like um, Kendra Scott. It is Kendra Scott. We'll open it up here. Hopefully we can untangle it a little bit easier. Easier? Easier? Okay, so still got one little tangle, but that'll be easy to pull off. It is kind of a milky purple set in a silver tone. Just making sure all of the stones are there. They are shockingly there. Excellent condition. I don't know if you'll be able to see. They're kind of that milky purple. Very pretty. I should do well with that one. Love this. This is Anne Klein. There are all of the stones there. Okay. I love this so much. It reminds me of like really good 80s jewelry. The back you can see is kind of open and the stone, stone peeks through. And then you have the jewel tones of blues and greens and kind of that um, white. Look at this one. Oh, so pretty. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on that one. Gorgeous. You could wear it almost like as a low choker or go down a little bit and wear it like that. Very pretty. I have hers. Then we have just a black, kind of handmade look. Not that handmade is, is um, bad, I'm not saying that. It's just a simple piece. Maybe that'll be better. Then we have some peacock feather earrings and they feel like real peacock. We'll put those there. Oh, watch. This is something. M <clears throat> MVMT Rodeo. Doesn't look super, maybe it's supposed to say movement. Um, super pricey. 
MVMT watch. It looks like an Instagram watch. Okay, let's see what these sold for. <clears throat> okay, so things like this have sold for 20. This one was brand new in the box for 70. Trying to find the exact one, 29, 22. This is a similar one, 17. I'm gonna say I should be able to get like 15 to $25. I like the pink, is a very soft blush pink leather. I might be able to clean up the leather a little bit. All stainless steel, it's a very classic face. It will need a new battery. So there's that, we'll save that. See what else we have here. These look like Kendra Scott too. They are Kendra Scott. So we have another pair of Kendra Scott. These are earrings. Nice. Those are keepers. Um, handcrafted with a bell stamped on the card. It doesn't have any um, markings. So I'm going to Either combine those with a bulk, like 15 lots of earrings or something, or just leave those alone. And we have, oh, we have the rhinestone that fell off that necklace that I said was missing a rhinestone. Will I be able to find it is the question. you go here it is my husband should be able to fix that because there is a jump ring um, hmm. I take that back there's a jump ring attached to something that looks like it should have been glued on I'm gonna let that go I don't want to deal with pieces that might work until they get to the buyer. We also have some silver tone earrings that have, unless these are real silver, which I can't imagine they are, um, these will be in the junk because there's just too much distressing. And this looks like distressing that the silver tone paint has rubbed off. Then we have just one random earring. Check that, but it doesn't feel like sterling. And one <laughs> copper earring. We also have one stretch bracelet with kind of eyeballs. I have a set of three of these in red and they are hematite, um, but this one just has the one. The feather earrings, I'm gonna pass on. I'm not in love with the fact that these are real feathers. We do have a whole bunch of fashion earrings. They do have some wear, even though they're new. I'm gonna pass on these as well. I'll put those in the junk. And then I, believe it or not, I'm going to keep this because whatever came out of this looks like I could possibly put it back in there. And it is Tory Burch, so. <laughs> um, so I will, I will save this for a little bit to see if any, this is the newer box. So if my other newer items have this, maybe. Okay, so let's put all the junk stuff in this bag. I didn't bring a scale over, but I'm going to assume at least half was junk stuff. And then the stuff I'm going to keep is this movement watch, the Alex and Ani, just because I don't, I can't get a ton, but they do flip really quickly. Um, I think I'm going to throw these in the junk thing, the link stretch bracelets. We have some really pretty flower. Um, Kind of cocktail necklaces almost. 
that I will be keeping. The incline. The yeah, we just have a lot of great things. The Nordstrom. Even though these Liz Claiborne are only $12, I will keep those. The inclines. Another one of those. I really like the shell piece. I think somebody else will get, get a kick out of it. The Kendra Scott. I did really well with Kendra Scott. Another Kendra Scott. Oh, I bet you the earrings match this. Where did those earrings go? Nope different stone. Kendra does a lot of her jewelry. Very similar shapes. Um, we got real sterling. Just the regular charm bracelet if I find some like cowboy charms. I think I'm going to pass this long, this pink um, pole bracelet. I feel the same about the Leah Sophia. I'm just not super excited about it. And I like to be excited about my pieces. This, what, what was this? The purple, I like purples. This is very shiny bracelet. The orange, love that. Ah, pass on this too, it's another link bracelet. This is very lightweight. I think I'm gonna pass on the yellow and the pale kind of colors. I'm going to pass on this. It's very lightweight. I'm going to keep that. More Kendra Scott earrings. And the Liz Claiborne. So that is everything there. Do you see all my fun finds? A lot of Kendra Scott. This was Kendra this was Kendra, this was Kendra, this was Kendra, and these were Kendra. Those were all the Kendra Scott pieces, so that alone will absolutely pay for the box. Then we have brand new pieces. Liz Claiborne, a whole bunch of these like really pretty. Somebody could even snip these and use them in a wedding bouquet of like pins and brooches. I think that would be beautiful. But I'm gonna keep all of those. So let me go grab a bag and I will set up and come back. Okay, I am back. Just wiping everything down. Little, little Lysol. The next, this was shipped to me in February. I bought, I don't know, like 50 or 60 in February. And I haven't been through them. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Right away, it looks like I will have one of those wrapped bracelets. This one says Bindi New, uh, New York, USA. Bindi USA. So we'll look that up. Bindi USA bracelet. $20. There's only one. $20. <laughs> There's some others that look like it but aren't that. Let's see if any have sold. None have sold, not surprisingly. So I will keep this. Um, it looks like all the beads are there. It's brown and kind of a smoky blue color. And it would wrap around probably four or five times. There's also different ways, different lengths to put the button through. So let's see. Two, three, four, five. Actually, mine would go six but it just depends. So that's a yes from me, put that in the bag. Um, then we have shells and another wrappable bracelet. Is this the same kind? No, different style, but I'll probably sell them together if this one's also, nope, this one is in terrible condition. That one goes down here. The shells, it's funny because so many places give out these, um, since we live in a coastal area for either free or like really cheap, like 19 cents with any purchase. So I will keep these to the side. I don't really sell shells all that well, <laughs> not that kind at least. 
love this it's a little loose on me but i don't think the stretch is lacking i think it's just how it fits yeah very very pretty just pieces of shells for a beach wedding or something i love that again that might only bring five dollars but love it it'll be fun for me to list and isn't that part of it this is a oh, kind of earring on it a giant blue loop necklace it's not my style is it anybody's style uh, I guess I'll try it I'm like keep looking at it I'm like maybe there's something wrong with it where I won't have to try it I think if I think that I'm not gonna try <laughs> I think that's down here along with the the rest of the stuff okay Next, we have just a little piece of broken something that's going down there. Very fun, colorful. Oh, I've had a lot of these seed bead necklaces before tangled in something. Let go, let go. I don't do really well with these. Oh, that is really tangled in there. Let go. Okay, so I'm going to need to pull this way, and that should, should, there we are. Okay, so this one is pink and orange and turquoise. Love the colors, unmarked. Just kind of that, that beach vibe. I love this. I can't believe these don't sell. Looks to be in good condition. It's a whole lot of beads. If you didn't like this style necklace, but you were just looking for this size seed bead, there's a lot of them there. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on the yes pile. Oh, I've had something similar to this. This I'm saying no. It's a sticker instead of like real metal. And the sticker can easily be like hit or distressed or peeled. It's just a no for me. We have, I don't think this goes in here. There we are. A bracelet. Oh, neither does this. Okay, just a bracelet with some faux pearls. Nope, don't want that. This feels heavy. Are you marked at all? This is unusually heavy for this kind of piece. So I just need to see if it's marked. I don't think it is. So the quality doesn't look to be there, but I did have an intertwined bangle set that did happen to bring me almost $1,200 from this box. So now, and it was only marked in two spots. I almost missed it. The pawn shop almost missed it. No, this is, it does look a little bit like sterling because of the patina, but these are not real. Shame. I'm going to put it in the junk box. These are broken earrings. We will put you over here. Okay. There's another earring. There's earrings everywhere. This one is a brown cord and it says, it has like a little baseball medallion and it says number one, which is very sweet. If your son or daughter plays baseball and you want to get them a necklace, this would be the one. I think I'm going to try it. It's cute. I really like it. Oh, and we have another one. Nope, this one's not at all the same. It has the brown cord but it has like a hammered brass bronze look with a faux hanging. Is it faux? That's no, probably real freshwater pearl. It's pretty, I'll try it. Love this, this says C-C-B-K-Y-E. I don't think that's a B, S-K-Y-E? I don't know what that says. Does it say it anymore? <laughs> okay. CC Sky. Let's try that. 
CC Sky B Fashion Jewelry. Yes. Oh, here's a very similar piece, two ninety nine. Let's go to Solds. Um, let's go to Jewelry because there's other categories. Eighteen, fifteen, one, <laughs> one, eight, eight. The cuff bracelets with the lock do really well. Seventeen, fifteen. This one kind of looks like mine, kind of. Okay, ten, twenty-two. I'll try it. We'll try it. I think it's real leather, which is saving it. It has um, gold, like a gold tone, flat head screwdriver, something, <laughs> and it is adjustable. Yeah, I would say that would probably go up to a seven inch wrist. So there you go. I was looking for the, oh, there it is, okay. I knew I had one open. This looks very fun. Ooh, love this. Colors are very pretty. Just a costume piece. Love the colors though. That minty kind of aqua, the dark teal, kind of an avocado green. And they're meant to look like, like fake agate almost. Like there's stones in the middle kind of a peachy, the colors on this are lovely. They're colors that nobody would ever think to put together and somebody did, bravo. That's a yes from me. Whole bunch of just really lightweight. There's a whole bunch here. Bangles, gold tone, kind of a shimmery thing happening. I'm gonna put those down here for now. We'll see, we'll see if we find more. That's some more shells. Pretend the shells aren't there. Okay. Um, <laughs> the pearls are nice and heavy, as are the beads. Oh, okay, that was that. Uh, I take that back. The pearls don't seem real. The beads are really heavy, though. So it's one of those things that I have no idea what you ever do with this. You can either tie it around your wrist or tie it around your neck or tie it around your ankle. But the fringe is making it look like it's been very used. So I'm going to put that in the junk. I wrapped it the wrong way. There we are, okay. You are in the junk pile. Another thing of shells. I'm going to put that down there. And then this looks like it went with it, but it didn't. Again, just faux pearls and some kind of brown cord. I'm going to put down, down there. We have another, oh, another bindi one. Okay, so we'll lock those up. What was the first bindi one? Black, kind of? Blackish. Like a smoke color, and this one's more of a turquoise. So great, easy peasy. Oh, love this. Kendra Scott does these. A whole bunch of people do these. I don't think this is hers, but this kind of laser cut out bangle. I should be able to sell. Yeah, that's really pretty, and it fits most sizes since. It's Kind of adjustable. We have a watch by Cartier. There's no way this is Cartier. It feels like like plastic. <laughs> what does the back of this say? Paris Swiss. Nope, you are not tricking us. Cartier watch. Very suspect. 
the metal is rubbing off. It's so lightweight. I'll do a little bit more research, but 99% sure this is, this is trash. Also the uh, marking on the elastic band is like S P E I D E L or whatever. That's the marking on some cheaper, like a Walmart band sometimes. So I highly doubt this is real. It, it, it says China, Paris, Swiss, China. <laughs> that's what it says right under that. So uh, we'll put that over here for now, but no, that's gonna go into the junk pile. A magnetic bracelet. It's kind of pretty. Faux, possibly real leather with some flat disc pearls. I like it. I put it up for a couple dollars. Um, not this. This is just plastic beads. We have a set from the Mason Jar Boutique. And it's a set of three bangles. This will probably be a little bit more country. I'll try it. Grays and kind of a faceted smoky gray, maybe a wooden black. Okay, we are putting earrings over here. We have a very lightweight, it almost seems vintage. Oh, it's marked. It is silver from Italy, so sterling. Betcha it is. Um, oh, it's sweet. It almost feels like tin, but I know it says sterling. The sterling could just be this part of the metal. So we have a moon, a sun with a giant kind of clown-like smile and a star. So that's a definite yes. That should do rather well. Another cord bracelet. Now that I know that I have that mason jar one, this doesn't really match that though. I was gonna say I would throw that in there. Here's another one with the brown cord and kind of just, it looks like pearls. They actually feel like marbles. So we'll put that in there with that one. This could be a rosary or um, I might be able to get that out. The beads feel very nice. They feel like real stone, all in grays. And this one has a little bit of an issue. We'll see that later. I think it just needs to be cleaned. There we are. Um, grays and beiges, and then there's a brass or copper cross with this. And this might be able to be fixed a little bit, but the stones feel nice. They feel cold. So that's a yes. Next we have this. I guess that's a necklace. Oh, pretty. I don't like the, the tassel. If we got rid of the tassel, I'd like it. This is a very gorgeous stone. It's a smoky kind of a, a light aqua blue and the pearl feels very nice too. Does it have peeling? I can't tell if it's peeling or just part of it. I'll have to check that out later. This one might be a yes. We'll put that in the maybe pile, which is just the yes pile. This is, <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's a ring, but a whole bunch of beads. I, that's a no for me. Then we have our baseball. And unless this chain is Mark Sterling, this is also going to be a no. Nope. I'm sure this was a local baseball team that was selling their jewelry, but that could take years for somebody to find on eBay. Love this very lightweight cord. However, that cord's going to tear there. So this unfortunately has to go with the junk. It just looks like part of the, the cord has snapped and it's going to snap some more. Loved you. Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> this is a cord too, um, with a lot of different colors. Kind of like it. 
Do you like that? It's, it's a lot. I don't know why I like that almost. I'm gonna say no. Just because I'm trying to be better with what I keep and I can't keep everything I love, I do have a tendency because I'm gonna be more excited if I love the thing um, to list it. I'm putting all of my, my uh, rings and little doodads over here. This is pretty, I like this very much. This is a yes from me. You go through to the final round. I think this is lucky, it is. Okay, so it is a weightier silver tone bead and then there's a little chunk of a faux turquoise with veining. As long as, yeah, the twine looks good. So you could probably even double, yeah. Pretty, love it. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break, get some medicine, stand up, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got something to drink, went to the bathroom, more meds, walked around, feeling a little, little better, put my hair up. I've got a lot of kind of this going on and just happening. Let's see, let's dig for treasure. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's a necklace. It's got some problem issues, it looks like. Maybe seeds? Yeah, like somebody found a whole bunch of brown seeds in the forest and decided to drill holes in them. They're very like artificially brown brown, but they're, they seem like a natural element, but obviously there's an issue with going down there. This one, little shells cut into triangular daggers. They're pointy. <laughs> I don't know about pointy dagger shells. Do we like those? I think if I had something on, it wouldn't bother me. I guess it's not that bad. It's only sharp like at the right angle. Yeah, like that's a little sharp. I think I'm gonna put this in the junk. Also, there seems to be like a cord coming loose. I, I don't know. Still, very cool. You try. Okay, there's a whole bunch more of earrings. Here's something in a bag that looks like it could be a necklace. It is a necklace. It's a delicate piece. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't know why. This was so well protected. Maybe it's like somebody's family gemstones. There's a gray, kind of a citron, a garnet, peridot, I don't know. They're stones that don't go together on what appears to be a nice chain. Is the chain marked? I don't think it is. Somebody protected this for no reason. I don't see a single marking on this. I don't know. It's it's pretty when grouped together, but like when you get close and you look at it, it's like kind of a pea soup green, a dirty yellow, kind of cement gray, another dirty yellow, and kind of a dark red brown. Sorry, whoever's necklace this was. That's why I was thinking sometimes um, birthstones don't go together. I think this is even peeling inside. I don't know, I'm gonna put this in the junk thing, but I'll put it back in the bag to at least keep it safe, just in case somebody else wants it. Okay, some more earrings. Another earring. Oh, another little bag. Oh, a little horseshoe. Are, are you sterling? Yes, 925. Okay, so it's a little sterling horseshoe with, oh, no, just a little um, 
like a poke through design on the horseshoe, like a little cutout. But at least they protected it for a good reason. That's why I couldn't believe the other one wasn't any kind of marking. My eyes are pretty good, especially for being in my 40s. I'll look at it once more. <laughs> okay. It just, it has to be something, right? I'll even get my uh, magnification glass, which I should just buy the pro version because the ads on here are insane. Okay. And loading ad. Okay, we're looking at it again. I don't know. Wait, there's no markings. It definitely looks like there should be though. <laughs> like it's well carved. In my mind, this really should be like 14 karat or at least 925. Okay, last little, little bit here. Tell my cuticles are in terrible shape. I don't see a single marking. Hmm. I think it would have to be on the clasp because the chain is just too, too delicate of a chain. No? Okay. Back in the little bag. Sad necklace. Okay, you are part of something and are broken, and you are the other side of that part of something and are broken. We have two broken, just needs a jump ring, I think. Um, pieces of something. I don't see that smart, so we'll put that down there. We have, this could be sterling, it is a sterling bracelet. Again, nothing like, wow, but <laughs> it is sterling. Can I get it? There we go. It is sterling, so we will save it. Another one of these cord and pearl or faux pearl. I don't know. These, somebody tell me what this is. Again, you can wear it like that, but then there's no way to tie it. You just need to tuck it, I guess. Is that the look we're going for? I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to put it like on your wall and get little, little clothes pins and put like Instagram pictures on it. I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to go get a battery because my battery is blinking but until then we are going to look at this brown necklace on a cord with some kind of shape it almost looks like a, a skull but i think part of it is broken the beads do look to be real stone but the cord feels very waxy and not good the beads are the best part of this, so this is going in the junk thing. And I will be back. Okay, let's pick out some more. This is beautiful. This feels well made. Love the little hook. I don't think it's marked, but it does feel like a nice piece of costume jewelry. Let's Okay. Oh, beautiful. Love the red stones. They remind me of like a really dark ruby or pink tourmaline or something like that. The gold work is very finely done. It's very adjustable. You could adjust it for almost a choker length all the way up to probably like an 18 inch length. Keeping that. 
earring, a ring. A puzzle. Okay. Oh, love this too. Really pretty hook. This is lucky. Yeah, this feels nice. You just tell if something has a little bit of a quality to it. So all of these like disc stones done in gold tones and kind of like distress. Some of them have a little bit of a, a silver to them or a blue to them. Pretty. Like it. Ah, the choker. <laughs> My mom told me I look good in a choker. Whoa. This feels like Indiana Jones gold. Like he came upon it. It's lucky again. <laughs> Twist yourself around. There we go. So it's gold tone. Um, almost reversible, I would say. So you have the cross with the scrolls or like the imprint of something. And then this side has um, like a five raised gemstone thing happening. I'm going to keep that. Lucky does fairly well. Is this magnetic? It is magnetic, woven like chain mail with rhinestones. Are you marked? It's not marked. It's, it's obviously not like a hundred dollar piece, but it's cool. It reminds me very much of like the 80s going into the 90s. I think I might keep it. As long as all the rhinestones are there, I think it's cool. Never know when you need a good chainmail rhinestone piece, right? We all do. Here's another one of those corded pieces. Hey, get out of there. I don't know. It feels like just too cheap um, of the cording. It's not faux leather even. It's like just plastic. Somebody tied this one tight. I don't know. I'm not going to play with it anyway. And it has little beads but again another um one of those you now we have like 42 of them oh i like this are you marked you are marked what do you say you say w possibly three possibly a squiggle i don't know Love it though. How do we take this apart? Oh, got it. I don't know that it's sterling, but it is well done. There's gemstones in purples and blues and greens. And then the back of it is more of a, um, I don't think it's real silver because it's too distressed to be real silver, but it is marked. And there's a little rose or a flower right at the top of the clasp and that's where it inserts. The clasp works well. I really like it. I'm going to put it in the yes bag. Then we have one of these. This has the coordinates to something. Do we want to look them up? I want to look them up. It's my video. So I'm guessing this is like New York City or Paris, 29, 45, 37 North. Did anybody else used to do geocaching? 11 West. Okay, let's see if it brings it up. Alexander City, Alabama. So like the Houston area, I think. Alexander City. So it's very lightweight. These are very hard to sell. I had one in New York City, like downtown New York City, and it was um, it retailed for like $150, and it was a pain to sell because you're looking for the right person. 
So I'm going to put this in the junk thing. If you happen to see this anytime soon and want this piece, let me know. I'll try to pull it out. Try being the keyword, but it's Alexander City. Okay. We have another like, cow steed necklace, I think. A lot of like wrapped pieces. I don't know what this is. Maybe I should go in a different direction. Okay. This says squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Mom? I think if you have to wonder if it says mom, it might not say mom. It looks like graffiti. <laughs> You? I don't know what that says. I have no idea. This is gonna be in the pile of junk. There is like um, words of some kind on that lower piece here. I don't know what that says. And junk. Okay, we have a little American Eagle Outfitters bracelet. It has some the brown cording is like coming off in little pieces. I'm just gonna put it in the junk for that. It's like very furry, fuzzy because of that. Okay. You are an earring, you are a ring, you are a ring. You are an earring back, you are an earring. You are a Mark Sterling. We have another piece of that cord. We have another bangle. We have another cord. This is like the heavy brown, possibly real leather with um, an earring in it. Oh, gosh darn, this is just a brown cord then. See, this could have been like $30 and I have no idea because I have no idea. And it has distressing. This one looks like tiny little coins. And it's going in the junk bag. A blue hoop in plastic. There's a lot of tiny little things in here and we'll get to you. I'm just trying to pull anything out I can. Okay, so this is a very thin cord with a very tiny clasp. Holy cow. And the clasp is marked. Let's see if I'll be able to see what it says with the magnification glass. Did I see that it was? Okay, so it says focus. Definitely says something. to get it the right light or the whole thing is blurry. Let's try to blur it out a little bit. Stop focusing on my finger now. It's not doing it. Come on and out. Well, at least I know it says something. And it's a tiny little cross and a little blue piece of stone. The cross doesn't look marked and it's a brown cord. So it's up to this <laughs> little marking on this little thing to say what that says. I'll give it one more try. <sighs> Maybe I'll put it on a piece of tissue paper. I 
can't even tell if it's upside down or in a different language. I think it says something gold, like a K mark. And add. Fourteen karat gold. I think it does. I think it says fourteen karat gold, but the only gold on it really is this much. So what is that worth? Like forty cents? I don't know. I'll keep it and do some work later. <laughs> Pretty. An arrowhead dipped in a gold tone paint. This is rather tangled, but let's pretend I can get that out. I like it. It's meant to be a longer necklace, I'm assuming. like a purpley brownie berry color. Pretty. I'm going to say yes to that. This looks like it might be something. I think this matches the bracelet we had, which I don't think the bracelet had markings. So I'm going to assume this one also doesn't. Yeah, this this does match the bracelet we had though earlier. So I'm guessing it's a set with the bracelet and necklace set. Same colors, same stones. So that'll be a pair. That's nice. This feels like sterling. It is another sterling. I, this is very similar to the sterling piece we had last. This is definitely a steer head, it's kind of cow head. And there we are. It's a very thin pieces of copper. And then this has a patina like from being rubbed. I wonder if it was like somebody's lucky cow head. It's like very smooth in a very pleasant way. It's thin though. I like it. I, I say yes. A lot of little pieces in this. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay. Ooh, that looks pretty too. Okay, we, we got one. This is a bracelet that somebody handmade, I'm assuming, or it's that style. Still that brown cord. Two strands and then a whole bunch of just extra pieces at the bottom. It is marked M2. M2, I haven't done very well with M2. M2 is a costume. I'm shocked to see it marked, honestly. I'm gonna put that in the junk. There's nothing junky about it, but I just don't want to deal with it. Here is this beautiful freedom. Um, I recognize this. It's E-T-T-I-K-A, and it's black cord with a very shiny gold, almost, um, coin. And it has, like, a, a quill or a piece of straw or something on it. And then on the back it says freedom. So we will be saving that. Oh, this feels nice. It is 925, and then there's a smaller marking. So it is, even though it's gold, it is sterling silver, and the gold could be a gold vermeil they put on top of it, um, but there's sterling underneath. And I'm gonna guess this is a, 
I wouldn't have guessed this is a real pearl, honestly. But the toggle is at the front. Yeah, that's a keeper since that's sterling. We have another one of these um, bracelets that go around. I'm gonna, gonna throw that down there. Too many of those cord bracelets already. Another little, little piece of nothing. We have this, which is a lot of, I'm guessing not sterling, just a silver tone metal. Caught up in a bunch of gold tone metal. Come on, let go. There we are. Okay, so what are we looking at here? This is Charming Charlie. So even if we could get this untangled it's really not worth all that much so we are going to put that in the junk pile next piece of this another brown cord <laughs> they really liked the brown cord in this box this one has a very pale pink i don't even know if these are real pearls or not um i'm gonna put this in the junk though Junk just doesn't mean junk. It means I just don't personally feel like dealing with it. We have a ring stuck to that. This looks pretty. It also looks very tangled. Let's see if we can find a clasp. Here we are. There's no markings on the clasp, so it is costume. I'm not even sure it's just one piece, honestly. It could be two separate things intertwined. We're getting there. Oh, yep, it's two separate pieces. Okay, so we have a clasp here. So it's a kind of a turquoisey color with these medallions, these open gold tone medallions in the center. It's pretty, it's very pretty. I'm gonna put it in the junk thing. And then this just looks like a golden chain. I'm going to make sure there's no markings on this, which I couldn't imagine there was. And I'm gonna drop it in the junk. We are getting there, my friends. Another piece of little blue something. A little cord somebody tied to this. Come on, I have scissors over there too. Okay, so this says friendship. So we'll put that over here for now. This is sterling, right? Are you sterling? You seem like sterling. You do have markings. What are your markings? A, I don't recognize the markings. I'm pretty sure this is sterling though, so let me let me grab my handy dandy annoying ad thing. Italy, 925 Italy, okay. So we have to recover this piece. I think it's just a necklace or a bracelet. Um, I don't know if it has anything on it. Something is around and around and around it. Sorry to have to separate you guys. You'll find love with someone else. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. I did. And this flew off, and this is also marked sterling. It looks like somebody um, made a blob of sterling and then imprinted an M. So like a signet, almost. Sig signet. So it's a light piece but on that piece of metal there is a stamped kind of um, nicely calligraphy almost M. Okay, let's get you out. It's an earring. This is nothing. It's just a little piece of chain. Again, this is just that brown cord with faux pearls. It's a necklace, but again, I'm, I'm 
pass it on that unless it has a mark. So this has no marks, but this tiny little piece could be sterling. So let's see the other side of this. There is some gold wrapped around and the gold has some markings as well. But that should be fairly easy to get off of this piece at least. Okay. This is the brown cord and it has a little cross. The cross isn't marked and if it's not sterling, I'm guessing it's pewter. It has that same look. But I'm gonna put it down here. Then we have a very stretch, stretchy, <laughs> used to be stretchy, it's been stretched. Okay, this is a really pretty piece. Um, unfortunately, it is broken, which is a shame. There's no clasp, the clasp broke off. This is a it would have been a necklace, except unless there's a marking, it's just going to stay this way. I don't see any markings, and it's quite tangled. It would take probably a minute or two to untangle it. Another piece. This one is Stella and Dot. Not bad. Sometimes they do okay with Stella and Dot. This is a lot of little pieces in this one, but look, look how, ugh. That would just take forever. I'm gonna put that in the junk. Let's see what else we can find in this before we just toss the whole thing. Okay, that's nothing that I see that I really want. Then we have some seed beads, nothing there. I'll at least undo the clasp. Then we have a little pendant, it's a tear stone. Tear, tear stuff? I don't know what word I'm looking for. <laughs> then we have more of those brown and fake um, pearls. This one, let's see if you're marked. You are marked. What are you marked with? This is the same marking it looks like as on the other one that I tried to get. So it still could be the 14 karat, it could be I'm trying to get it in focus. It's so hard to get in focus. Maybe if I put it behind something or next to something. says something. I'm going to save it. It's not all the way untangled, but it's pretty close. Um, it has like a little faux pearl. I don't know. Could be nothing later on down the road. And then we have this red kind of untangled, partially untangled, partially tangled. So that's going in the junk. Let's see on all of the earrings. Earrings like this, earrings like this, the same style earring a lot together. A lot of earrings, making sure they have the rhinestones. We have two different kinds here of hoops. This earring, oh, it has a heart. Very sweet. We'll keep you. We have a big Castle rhinestone earring and another one. So we will keep all of those earrings. Um, this is a fake earring, I would imagine. It says steel, S steel. Looks like the Cartier sign, but it just says S steel. So I will check into this one. This is beautiful. I've sold something like this before. Um, it's a nice size with a lot of gold work or faux gold work. It's adjustable because of how they made it from the inside. So love, love, love. This is a silver tone climbing, let's put it over there, kind of a climbing 
vine or leaf ring. This looks like a real ruby and I'm sure it's not because there's no markings. But rubies used to have that kind of, like a 1980s ruby. I don't know if that'll be able to focus, but it's got some enamel work. I'm gonna save that. This one's rose gold with the pave hearts. It looks to be in good condition. I don't see any markings, but I'm gonna save it. We have some owls. <laughs> Love these. I will save these. Never know when a girl or a guy might need some owl earrings. This one has a lot of wear. I'm going to pitch that. This one looks like it could be something. This is marked 925, so it is sterling. And it's that aqua color you know I love. We have a teddy bear. He is marked 1923, 28, 1928, whatever that um, maker's mark is. We will save him. Love, love, love this. Is this marked? It is Bobble Bar, right? It is, what are you? Michael Kors? I'm just guessing. It is. I don't, I don't know what it says. Gosh darn it. We don't want your ads. It says, it's so highly reflective. It looks like B K H G E or an eight K H. Let's see if I can take a picture. Something like that. It looks amazing. It's so pretty. It's a tinier size. I love it. Okay, so we're keeping that. Let's see what else. This looks like Michael Kors. Are you? What has an H? Are you Hermes? Hermes? I'll take a look at that a little bit later. It doesn't have any markings that I can see, and I would think an Hermes would be um, marked. Okay, let's look at, this little ring is sweet, but nothing special. Another little sweet ring, but unless you have a marking in you, you do not. Okay, then we have these, which say, bobble bar. So we'll keep them. They are like an ivory ju druzy, druzy earring. Clip-ons, which I just sold a pair of clip-ons. You're a clip-on, and you're a clip-on, and you are a clip-on. Do we have any clip-ons that match, though? <laughs> you are a clip-on. You match. You are a clip-on, you match. You are a clip-on and you are marked Kramer of New York, very pretty. And you are Kramer of New York, you match. Okay, let's do rings next. This is a Druzy piece, unmarked, but very pretty. You say love, love you. This ring is a little distressed looking, but I like it. You are too distressed. This I don't even understand. I'm guessing it's broken. This is a little stretch ring without stretch. Another druzy. Um, the tiniest of rings that says we, O-U-I. This one is broken. Oh, I think I can fix it right here before your very eyes, except you can't see a thing because the back is at you. It would fix easily. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, fixed. This is Rags Consignment Shop. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, 
I'll keep those since I fixed them out. These are beautiful. Is there a second one? There is. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. Love all the heavy silver work. I don't know how these go. Are you earrings? I think you're earrings. There's also a 925 stamp to them. So these are sterling. Really pretty colors. Very heavyweight. Okay. You are, oh, you're um, over here because you are a clip-on. You are a ring, you're cute. You're a ring. I guess you're a ring? I'm not sure, I'll just send that to my niece, it's tiny. You are a ring. This is a broken thing. This must be a broken thing. This is another wee ring. Did I get all the rings? You are a ring, oh you're cute. You look like you're missing something, however. You look mid-century, but you are definitely missing stuff, so we will put you in there. Okay, matching pair, matching pair, sterling silver, matching pair. This is a pendant, um, it is marked. I don't recognize the maker's marked, but it is definitely marked, and I'm gonna say this would be sterling. So that's good. Oh, and here's some matching earrings, but only one and two, yay. Okay, so you are all good. J.I., I don't recognize that. You have little blue things, you have little blue things, you match. You are there, you match, you match, you are broken, you are broken, you match, you are broken, oh, J-I, J-I, good, you match, whatever you are. So these don't have matches yet. So I'm gonna put all of those in the pile and then break out the last little bag. I'm gonna guess what doesn't have a match over here might have one in here, but these seem like pretty inexpensive things. So you match. You match? I think you match. You match. You don't match. You match. You match. These are just backs. I always keep the backs for things, even if things don't match. Are you? This looks like it could be 925. I don't see any markings though. You are junk. Oh, you're so pretty. I think you're gonna be junk. You're junk. You are also so pretty. Junk. And the last pretty junk. Junk, 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 junk. Okay, so let's add all of this. This is our junk bin from the second one, from the first one rather. You, again, you can see that not all of the junk stuff is specifically junk. Some of it just doesn't have um, all of the beads or all of the stones. Some of it is overstretched. A lot of it is overstretched. Some earrings don't have pairs. Some of it is fine. It's just the style is not enough to make any money or you know, be worth a couple of minutes that I put into something. So, so far we have about five pounds. I have a second and third one of these. Um, I've got beads everywhere now being collected. So eventually I will sell another junk lot. The last one did over $130 and the person was thrilled with it. Thank you person. The first one did, I think like 90. And again, the person was thrilled. So I'm taking less and less 
So there are going to be better things in there, but again, I'm, I'm just always going to say they're all broken. Okay, last bag of the day. This was also from the February box. And again, I haven't looked at any of this. I'm looking at this first. <laughs> this is beautiful. See Wonder. I like that the, um, it's mostly made up of like a ribbon, like a cloth ribbon and then some, some seed beads. Pretty. I say yes. Ooh, this is new. Fringe necklace with $40. probably won't sell for anywhere close to $40. Um, oh, that just broke off of there. That's junk. And there's the other piece of that junk. I've done pretty well with this. This is RMN, another maker's mark I've learned to know. It's costume jewelry, but fairly well done costume jewelry. I'm going to save that. A bunch of earrings. These retailed for $13, so nothing crazy. But if I lot up enough of them, people are usually happy to buy and support for, for a bunch of earrings. I think this is not going to recover. That goes down there. Then we have this. Okay, so yeah, it's a giant blue heart, um, gunmetal chain. I don't see any markings. It is very like almost Betsy Johnson or I don't know. I could see me wearing this in the 90s with my Trapper Keeper. next. This is a cutout monogram that says SS, I think. And it's, yeah. So monograms are huge for a lot of the country. This one looks to have a mark on it. So if it's like, let's say gold, um, obviously it's a well-made piece. Definitely has a marking. I don't know what to put it against to try to get that. Here we go. Come on. One, two, four, two. Hey, I do not want you to call me. You're spam. Fourteen carat. We definitely see the 14 karat GF. So it's gold filled. So it's not the true 14 karat. It's just the outer layer is dipped in 14 karat, but the inner layer could be made out of a whole bunch of different things. So um, unless your initials are SS, that's going to be a hard sell. So that will go in the junk. Some more of these earrings. Like I said, I lot these up. Oh, pretty and not stretchy at all. <laughs> okay, some more of these earrings, as long as they're in good shape. Yes, they are. We will put them in there. And then single earrings we'll put here. I... Okay. This is one of those cluster things where there's a lot going on, including like fringe and usually one or two pendants and rhinestones and gunmetal. And it's all just meant to like be together. Yeah, I think I like that. We'll try that. It's a 
fashion piece clearly but i might be able to get like 4.99 for it or something this is very interesting to me okay so no markings it's like a resin heart somebody made and put in a doily at the back See, so it's actually like a very thick, probably quarter inch thick. I like it. For a Valentine's Day, it's something different than the regular red and pink. No markings. I'm not keen on this. I'm going to put that in the junk thing. Okay, this looks like it could be Kendra Scott. Uh, we have it wrapped around an earring really well. Let's take that earring out. <laughs> Maybe not. Kendra, I'm saving you. How am I going to do that? There we go. There's one. Okay, we can get you out now. There we go. And. Okay, so we just need to open that up. Okay. Are you Kendra? Did I work for for, for nothing. Well, this is really interesting. Without knowing if this Kendra Scott, it looks very Kendra Scott. Very Kendra Scott. I'm going to have to look up this style. I'd be surprised. Oh, here's a marking. Okay, yes, it is Kendra Scott. Okay. The stones were just two hers. Um, and it has this like drawstring thing happening. Love that. Okay, let's stick that earring back in there because we could group that with the rest of them. Then we have this, which is very tangled. I'm guessing this is a bracelet of sorts. Let's see, find the clasp. Get the clasp out and wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay. This might be a necklace. And it is a necklace. It's a very pointy necklace. Let's see. What do you, do you think it's cool? Do you like it? It's very prickly. Does it have any, um, markings? No, one of the chains is broken. That won't hurt the value too much, but because of that, I'm gonna put it down there. And honestly, it's, it's just too prickly. This is a bracelet somebody did. I'm guessing it's meant to be braided <laughs> or something. It looks like it has a whole bunch of buttons. I, I'm not exactly sure of what this is meant to be done, but um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the junk pile. Love, love, love this. Love the color. I can see an Instagram page based on these colors and the, the person wears only these colors. Good choice, Instagrammer. This dropped down to the side. It is Sea Wonder. It's pretty. It's orange. I'm going to put it down here with the junk stuff. I've got beads everywhere. Give me a second to, to pick up some of the ones that are right here at my fingertips. I'm like, okay. Then we have a gold tone mesh necklace. I'm going to say this is a costume piece, so it probably doesn't have any markings. I like it. It has a kind of a vintage thing happening with the mesh beads and the oversized pearls. I like it. I'm going to keep it. These are a dime a dozen in these boxes. It does look like it'll glow. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and put it down here. 
This has a Betsy Johnson you know, with tag on it, and it does look like her. There's a bow down here. A little bit of twisting around the bow, but I'm sure I can get that, no problem. There we go. There we are. So I'm going to keep that. Another orange piece. This one reminds me a little bit of goldfish. Just the color and the discoloration. I'm going to throw it down here. We have earrings. I don't know what this is stuck on. Here we go. Earrings, good, $14, so says the tag. We will save those and add those to the rest of them. I just sold, or I don't even know if it's sold yet, a, this one's in worse shape, um, blues and greens in the same style with like freshwater pearls that are not pearl shape. So I'm gonna let this one go. The other one is taking a long time to sell. This is very fake feeling, not looking necessarily. It's little wooden beads. And then I love the color of that pale ice blue. It's like an aqua ice blue. But because it's so lightweight and it has a few flaws in it actually, I'm gonna let it go. Move on, me. Stretch bracelet, nothing special. This feels like I've had this piece before. It, it comes to, um, I've had it, I did find that it was sterling. So even if this one is not marked, this is sterling. Um, a knotted pretzel. So like you can hang it as a lariat or you can wear it closer and it looks like a pretzel. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And mine wasn't marked sterling, I got it tested. I think I sold it for 14. So I'll see if I can find the original listing because if so, I can just sell it under that same listing. Not keen on this. It's pretty. Nothing, nothing that tickles anything. This is an open gold mesh chain. No markings. For some reason, this reminds me of tennis. I don't know why, maybe you can see it in the back. It's got like that open woven thing happening, but then the front, it's rhinestones. I'm in the middle of deciding whether the tennis rhinestone necklace needs to be saved. I think it does. I think I'm gonna try it at least. This looks very pretty. I wouldn't be shocked if this was marked, it is marked. Um, I don't recognize the marking. Is there another marking? Nope, that's the only mark. Okay, let's see what this is. Hey, don't close on me. The marking is on the back too? No, just on the inside. Okay. We're doing this. Don't close. D B J 925. So it is sterling. Ha ha. Um, a necklace too. I'll show it on my wrist just so you can get the idea of it. it has black and white inlay with a little bit of like a rhinestone and a thick silver border. Very pretty. Sterling will always get kept. This is another shell necklace. Well made, but I don't do shells. Love this piece. J. Crew. Let's see if all of the prongs are set correctly as I break this. There we go. Nice. Looks great. I can always steam the ribbon. We all know I'm not gonna steam the ribbon, but um, 
to tie it up. Very nice, J. Crew. We have a pair of like a cloud pink bubble. Love those. Those are earrings. So itchy. earrings over here. These retailed for $4 and I'll group those together with the other earrings. This is Jewel Smith. This is one of those like fab fit fun things that they retail for $79 but you can get them for like four bucks. It's a hand chain. It looks like it's all there. I'll put it up. It says designed with love in Venice, California and I believe it. I just believe it's also probably made in uh, China, let's say. This looks to be in nice shape. I like the makings of that. That looks to be real silver. I'll have to find that out. There it is. 925 and then there's another marking SD or SO or 30. I don't know. Um, but really pretty. Marcosite. It is missing one of the stones. So I will do a really quick search at the end to see if I can find it. This is very fun, but I'm gonna pass that along. Love this, however. blue one is what I have my eye on. Come on. I'm trying to get the chain to open. There we go. Sometimes if I can open a chain, I can wiggle it a little bit. Sometimes, sometimes not. <coughs> this is another interesting piece. This looks a little bit more vintage. So I would like to see both of these pieces. I might set this down if I can't get it right away. Okay, this goes up through there. This comes down here. Okay, so are you loose? You are not loose yet. I love this piece too. Maybe I can just and being a little bit hard on it because I know it can take it. It looks very well made. This is an a dainty piece. like I have part of this. There we go. Why are you supposed to be? I guess like that. The cord looks like it's to be from the 60s. And it is definitely like a pewter silver tone up top, but then it changes into like a brassy tone at the bottom. We're supposed to be like that. Yeah. Huh. And it has three crystals suspended underneath, like kind of a half moon or a bow. The only thing that's thrown me is this clasp does seem older. So I would think the whole thing would be older. So I'm gonna say this is vintage. I don't see any markings though. It could have been that somebody reused a clasp. Okay, now let's go for the blue piece, which is also very pretty and newer looking it seems. Do you have any marks on you? No. 
about on you. No. Also, there's a chain extender, and that usually is, it's not great news. <laughs> a lot of um, very high-end pieces don't put chain extenders on. I don't know why that is, like Chanel or something might not use a chain extender. But I still love this blue piece and I'll probably sell it as long as it's in good shape. Okay, we got it out. Yeah, this is very pretty. The coloring is very nice on both sides. It has almost like a striation to it. It's also quite reflective, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see. It's a very dark blue, but without being too navy. I like it, okay. I definitely need to wipe my hands. Here we go. Put some more broken beads in there. Okay. Next, we have a red bracelet. Does this have anything? USA, Suki USA. I'll look that up later. I'm assuming it's nothing. This feels so cold. And from what everybody's taught me, cold items are usually real so it's like shockingly cold if you're going through a hot flash buy these okay so what does this say on it it says gara gara danielle dant dantel Let's see what Gara Dantel means. Or something like that. Dan. Gara Dan. Tell. I don't think anything's going to come up. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Do you mean? Okay, we at least have some things. <laughs> Let's uh, go for the category of jewelry, which there are none. Interesting. So let's just put necklace. Nothing, nothing at all. It's beautiful. One of the beads needs to be um, tightly more tightly knotted it's it's truly beautiful let's see if I can get this on camera it looks to be real stone I wonder if this looks like it could pull out and become a knife I'm sure that's not oh it does come off but no nothing comes out of it you could keep something very tiny in there. A toothpick. I don't know why you'd want to be keeping your toothpicks in this little sheath. It looks like it would be like a hundred dollars at least. I don't I don't know why nothing is pulling up. I'll do some more investigation later. The bees are gorgeous. They remind me of like a planet with all of the swirls. So pretty, okay. We have a red cord, let's undo this. And it looks like it has little stones in it. I'm gonna say this is nothing. Um, it is steel, okay. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. We have another one of these. I kept the red one. This says Suki USA. We'll keep the purple one. This is a stretch, like all spacer beads with a flat stone. I don't think it's anything all that special. Pretty, 
but not that special. This has a very romantic thing happening to it. It looks like somebody took like a piece of gauze and tea stained it and wove it in with beads of like a purple and give it a little bit of a tinkle. I'm going to pass it along as it doesn't have any marks. This looks like Brighton. I could be wrong. This is Silver Tone. Are you Brighton? Yes, you are Brighton. So Brighton usually does pretty well for me. I sold a Brighton piece within a day of listing it, listing it the other day. They usually have um, names. Sometimes I can't find them, sometimes I can. I don't know what this is. It's a very stretchy bangle. It's very lightweight, black stones. No idea. This has a little bird on it. A tiny little like pewter bird that's going in there too. Ooh, hoo -hoo. new J Crew. Yes, please. Um, red, white, and blue with like orange, and it has a patriotic flair to it. I love it. How much was this originally supposed to be? $78. Yes, yes, and yes. I will take those all day long. We dropped something. Um, Ann Taylor Loft Outlet. It has hearts. Like one's a matte gold, one's a shiny gold, and one's like a shiny rose gold. I'm guessing this is meant to be a choker, so that's a yes. Oh, is this the Origami Owl? Yes, there it is. This is uh, the Origami Owl, and this is also marked, which is nice. The last one I sold, I'm gonna say went for about $30, give or take, but it had a few more pieces in the locket. This one has a, I have no idea what this one has. Let's see if I can open it up. Mom, it has a turquoise or an aqua mom. Come on, I can do it. There we go. Um, happy face and a pink like tennis running shoe so if you are a happy mom that likes pink shoes you can take them out too here we go okay those are that this is a cord that is broken we have um two sets of orange bobbly earrings This is this one first. Um, I have no idea the shape of that. What is this? No idea. This could be marked or could not. It could just be dented. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Is it a game? Like a sport? I don't know. I'm gonna put that in the junk stuff. A pair of earrings. This says it is a lavender boutique big tassel bracelet pink. It's a little tassel. It retails for $18. It doesn't feel that special, honestly. I'm gonna put it down here. I have a lot of silver tone and blue beads pass I love these crinkle necklaces they look like they have aluminum foil at the back this one doesn't catch the light as, as some of them do I, I keep the ones that catch the light this one doesn't catch the light as well so I'm going to toss that we have a whole bunch more earrings one two Three, four, we're missing a red one. Maybe we'll find a red one for that. If not, sell the rest of them. We have a very nicely done 
beaded bracelet. It's plenty of stretch. It's very pretty. I'm going to set it aside. Then we have a necklace that says Barbara. <laughs> Good old Barbara. I don't see any markings. But I do have several Barbaras in my Patreon group, so I'll gift one of them that when I get to it. These look like earrings, very long earrings. Very, very long earrings? No, there's two. Okay, two long earrings. We have some white earrings made out of like a faux leather. We have brown earrings, same kind of faux leather. We have, do both of these have? Yes, they do. Kind of a gold tone earring shape of leaves, maybe. Gold tone squares in earrings. These match. Are you marked? Sometimes these can be marked 925. I don't see any markings on these. So I'm guessing these are just a true square rhinestone with like a halo rhinestone border. Well, these are pretty. I don't know. Are these marked or are these? I don't see them marked. I'm going to say a gunmetal with like a dark reddish, berryish color center. <laughs> These are um, not marked. They are barrettes. And then there's two of them. Love on aqua leather. I don't see any any marks so it'll go down here seems like a choker possibly nope i think it is a bracelet it reminds me of colorful balloons maybe it's an anklet but or like marbles i don't see any markings so i take that back i might see a marking Sterling silver, not sterling, SS, something steel, stainless steel, that's what that says. So we'll keep this, it's an anklet, we'll try it. This feels like sterling. The toggle looks to be in really good shape, I think it's marked, let's see the other side. Really pretty, a lot of like lamp work beads. It looks like somebody maybe put this together. It was handmade, but I will check the, what I think is a marking. Oh, I didn't mean to take a photo. <laughs> Come on. Add. so hard with this lighting to tell these are markings or just like worn down something else. I don't see anything I, I recognize as letters. Definitely got some kind of markings. I just don't know if it's like, like somebody put their finger through the metal, but I'll check it. It's, it's pretty enough. Okay, so let's do, oh, here's another one of those weird bracelets that just stay on somehow. Okay, we have a mustache ring and an eyeglass ring. Oh my goodness, you can make this. Is there a nose? No. Oh! Oh my goodness, there's a nose ring. 
my nose ring. Oh my. <laughs> Are any other ones go with this? I think that's it. So there's a set of three rings. You could make your finger have glasses, a nose, and a mustache. <laughs> So funny. I'm not sure I'm what I'm checking for. That's I love those. I need to keep those clearly. We have another barrette. This one has some pink sparkles to it. I'm gonna put that in the junk. I'm gonna put these in the junk too. I don't wear little barrettes like this too often. Um, then we have this, which is nothing. A very tiny, not well made ring. I don't see any markings. We do have a pair of earrings that match, which is really nice. We will put those in our earring collection. Uh, skip another matching pair of earrings with little owls. Great. A giant ring. This doesn't seem like it has any, um, it's just big. It's big, it's clunky, it's heavy. I'm going to throw that in the junk pile. We have a large pair of hoops. Very rarely do I sell this large of a hoop. This has got to be over three inches, so I'm going to put those down there. I was really, really hoping to find that little um, marcasite, marcasite bead that came out of there. I'm still going to save this because it's sterling, but hopefully I run across a little a little bead one day. The last thing is this pin that has instruments in gold tone. It has like a saxophone player, maybe an electric guitar, a tuba, and a violin. <laughs> so I've been doing pretty well with, oh, and here's another little necklace. Um, I've been doing pretty well with brooches, so I will save that and then put all of the junk stuff So those are the three bags. Here is the junk. A little bit. So there's the junk. And here's the good stuff. I'm going to say we have about equal parts. Actually, the good stuff feels slightly heavier. Yeah, I'm going to say we got more good stuff than junk stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I am hoping to get my hands on the Goodwill jewelry box eventually. For right now, I'm just happy staying home and listing and doing Patreon boxes with my husband and he plays for a second time since COVID. He'll be outside, the residents will be inside. As you most likely know, he is a musician. His music has come to a halt basically since March. He played once in April and now once at the end of July at that same private community. As it's a private home, they can have him stand outside and sing while the residents are inside keeping everybody safe. But be safe, take care of yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.